Street Fighters real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Play, again, Playing an opponent best two of three in Magic is about 50 minutes. Yep. So. But I think we're just going to keep the standard format for accessibility. All right, so we got Fat Boy and Brian. All right, so this is this is a rough match for Dudley, in my opinion, because yeah, Dudley wants to go in and put frame traps on, but Geef can block, and then SPD through any frame traps. Uh, but Brian doesn't really like to go for SPD in between stuff. He just likes to chill and block and be safe. And sometimes that's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the take the free punishes. Right. Yeah. Don't take the risk. He actually plays. Uh, a little like DJ Eric, uh, another Zangief player, who doesn't really go for setups, just just you know waits for his opponents to make mistakes and SPDs him. <laughs> he, he definitely has a really really good concept of footsie so. Oh man, that was very nice. What's that DCI judges? That's what you said you were looking for. Yeah. He says it's a pain. What is that exactly? What do they do? Um, you know. Pretty much just someone that just. Yeah, they're the judge for you know. Something funny happens to Magic. Like uh, a TL. You, you, you need judge. You know, like I cast this, but then I cast this to counter. Does this? Is it legal? Uh, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. 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 I've been playing Magic since like '95. Yeah. It's like my second game after Street Fighter, so. But it's just freaking expensive to keep up. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it would be interesting if they ever did something like in Street Fighter, especially this game since there's so many characters, mm -hmm. if they did something like Magic where they have certain certain decks being in season and you can only use certain cards. <laughs> what if they did that in Street Fighter where you can only uh, use certain characters? Nah, that wouldn't be too fun because the more characters, the more interesting, I feel like, for fighting. True. Games. The harder the meta is to yeah. learn every matchup. Like, I feel like... The less deep the character or class or race or whatever, the more characters you need to mix it up. Like League of Legends, you know, you only got like three moves, but now you got like a shitload of characters. But then yep. a game like StarCraft that's so deep, you only got three classes, it's still a crazy game. I feel like, you know, for Ultra Street Fighter 4, the number of characters they have for how deep the game is, is like a perfect balance. Oh man, so Brian takes game one. Good stuff. This is one game from being winning it our all. Champion. I think even if he loses, technically he would win first place because he beat you. He would have he'd be tied with you. Uh, it, it three we one. Even if he loses, we wouldn't play again though. Um, well, because no, we're because both technically and losers. I mean, the way that I normally do it is, I do it by matches and po and points, and it would put him higher than you because of the fact that you played each other. Kind of like in football. When you do like a tiebreaker, oh, okay. um, oh, you go back to like the previous. Yeah, I mean, I could count individual matches, like whether it was two one or or two zero, um, and whoever Yo, had more. Boy, you need to totally destroy Brian so I can play him again. <laughs> but yeah, for the number of characters and for how deep the game is, I think it's like a perfect, perfect mix. Like yeah. when Street Fighter Five drops, the the only rough part is is. Learning everything. Well, the good thing is, is it's a brand new game, so you got a lot to learn in general, and you know all your matchups. But then after, like everyone's used to, you know, you only got 16 matchups for whoever your character is. You know, you, you might learn your shit really quick. Yeah. It kind of. And then you can boring. stay on top of the game. It's yeah. kind of like um, in an, when you play an MMO, getting to end game and keeping up with as new stuff comes oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can. Well, Ah, fat boy. No roundhouse, man. That's punishable every single time. Negative two. Oh, always gets reversal. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I know, I know you mean. I mean, uh, as new characters come out, we'll slowly, you know, build. But it might. I'm, I'm kind of worried. Street Fighter Five is going to be. You know, you're going to learn these characters so quickly because it's an easier game, and then you you might just get it. Like mm -hmm. the second you fully understand a game inside and out kind of gets a little boring. Like, Hearthstone, I love it, but, like, the decks, there's there's only so many decks and so many cards that you kind of just learn everything, and then you, after you play a bunch, you're just like, no, 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 no. no. Fat boy, no, no, no standing roundhouse. 100% punishable. 
so yeah, the, the, the standing roundhouse, the du double kicks. Mm -hmm. Anytime that's blocked, free SP. Unless it's like absolute max range, but... But sometimes... That move, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just because there's so much end lag, and it's easy to just grab right out of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well, Zangief's SPD is uh, grabs in two frames, and you're at negative two. So... Don't. Yeah, and then so it's a 100% guaranteed yep. thing when... Oh man, he, he's lucky. So is it possible to space it a little bit better? Like maybe just think uh, it's it, it, it's, the hitbox? It's so it's so freaking difficult to just hit with just just the tip. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then on top of that, you you'd want only the second hit to hit. It, it wouldn't be really worth it. It's best to just use crouch medium kick, throw fireballs right outside crouch medium kick's range, stand roundhouse here and there, but or not, not stand roundhouse, oh. stand fierce. Oh, threw it, threw it, threw it a little too That's far it. away. It's totally reactable. Brian, undefeated, GG's. takes this game 2-0 with a set 2-0. So that's going to do it for our Street Fighter tournament. The results, if you type excla exclamation bracket, you can see the final results. But Brian, uh, first place, and Zhang, second place. Static Gorilla, third place. And then Fat Boy, and then Lost Ghost Boy. So we're going to be swapping over to Marvel. So if you guys are enjoying the show, you want to stick around with us and hang out, keep watching the stream, hmm? we're jumping over to Marvel now. No, no, you shouldn't even... You should never use Roundhouse against Zangief. No, but I thought I spaced it right here. There were certain times where I thought I wanted to get Axe Kick, and I ended up getting... Uh, 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 I yeah, think even fine. with Axe Kick, you still get... You still oh, yeah, because you're too close. Yeah. But I couldn't, like, FADC that the first part of Axe Kick. Of Axe? You can't FADC.